Good morning, everybody. I'm your host here. Welcome to the Breakfast Show, episode 41. And today in our show, Trading Idea with Smart Roby. Of course, today is Friday. We'll be talking about advanced level. That's right. So advanced level, what do we look at? We look at the premium alert, which actually appeared every 30 minutes. That's right. Every 30 minutes, we have a stock trade idea for you from our Smart Roby. So I hope my message find you good and well. But the stock market certainly is not doing too well. That's right. We are getting a bit of correction that we've seen uh, in the US market, but a little bit of good news for you. As we've seen news and news coming in for the COVID-19 vaccine rollout that we've seen, a lot of stocks are recovering well. Those stocks that we talk about also on this Tuesday, Warren Tuesday, we talk about those economic recovery, the 5G sectors, as well as some of the tech stocks. Not all of them, some of them are still booming, some are actually going a little bit of correction. We will look at all today in our trading idea on Friday, episode 41. So I hope my message will find you good and healthy. So thank you for sharing this video in your timeline. We really appreciate it. So we want to make sure that a lot of the information that we get out to are worthy of your time for joining us today. And we are very happy to share with you. And I have something uh, in store for you, a really bonus towards the end of the show. So make sure you stay to the end of the show and I'm going to give you a little bit of free bonus. That's right, a really free bonus. That's something from Smart Robbie and myself that to keep you going while this market continue to be very exciting or maybe not so exciting for everyone. And those of you who are first time listening, if you're first time listening, just type one and let me know what you think of our show and how we can improve that. Now, let's look at what we have for you this week. Of course, right now on Friday, uh, this session in here, we talk about volume spread analysis, which has always been the forte and the strength of what we talk about smart robbing and how we differentiate from a lot of people in there. And we also use technical as well as have fundamental to look at many of the ideas that pop up. But of course, let's look at what we have for you in our KLCI headlines roundup this morning in here. Now that's right. Now this morning, we, there's a lot of talk by the local government about the push my digital. That's right. In Star Business, there was a very good coverage about you know COVID nineteen uh, made the government realize that hey everything is through technology and that's why you know it's no surprise until today we see the technology boom behind us that we have. But again, now that all the good news is out, and usually when you see a lot of good news is out, what happens. <laughs> That's right, some of you already said that it is going to be what? <laughs> Profit taking. Now, then the, the, always the question is going to come to how would the technology boom going ahead for the remaining of the year? We are only at the first quarter of 2021. So how about going in April? Will we see a correction? But what I do see from the chart setting in here, I can pretty much say that right now it's a correction that we are seeing in technology and also I will explain when we get to the US segment there why it is what it is that we see today in here. Let's move on to our next headline. Now next headline is definitely on the uh, interest rate which this morning I did a uh, uh, listen on the radio and one of the very prominent economists, Ms. Julia Go, talks about the Bank Nagara interest rate still maintaining at 1.75. Now, that's right. That is likely what you will be getting if you put your money in fixed deposit, 1.75, maybe plus 1, 1.25 or maybe less. Of course, saving is even less from that in here. Now, what does this mean? It simply means that the... Uh, Loans that we pay from the banks are certainly uh, going to be uh, at very, very low interest rate. So if those of you who have loan, please go back and negotiate for a better loan in here. Uh, but a lot of anticipation was on the actual, even seeing that the benchmark interest rate going a bit lower to maybe 1%. 0.5% India. It didn't happen and partly it's because of the rising interest rate that we see in US but the local economists saying that this inflation is not happening in Malaysia and usually inflation in the manner of uh, what we see day-to-day -day life in Malaysia is also is tied back to the uh, how much you pay for the pump, you know, petrol. So and your nasi lemak too. Okay, now we've seen that with the COVID-19 slowdown, so inflation has been bit whole and that is why we are seeing the local uh, economy recovery is likely to lead to inflation, but 
they are not and uh, lead to inflation usually with the rise of interest rates so that's why they are not cutting it in here but it's a different question altogether when we get on to the u.s segment now uh next story is definitely which is caught in many of our reader and also those of you who are listening in here is the listing uh that we see uh for top glove now all said being said top gloves is riding on the uh what we call the post pandemic video uh, getting listing on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. It has been of this wow, actually. Uh, they are one of their setbacks is to list in three uh, so-called very uh, prominent exchange. Of course, Malaysia KLSC, and then uh, I think uh, two years back was in SGX, and now in Hong Kong Stock Exchange. So when you get into the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, you are likely to get into the names of many of the big hedge funds so far in the Chinese market. We all know how well the China market uh, stock exchange has performed over that. And I think Top Glove is going to, but the real concern is the dilution of the earnings. You know, last time, you know, you get uh, uh, earnings. Now, earnings uh, is have to be shared last time we shared between two stock exchange right sgx and klsc now you have to share within uh, hong kong stock exchange which means there are three different major shareholders across three different major major exchange but you know the earning and the pie is so much so that is a concern in here but having said that all green light is an ongoing and they are capitalized on this because i do believe the next quarter uh, for top gloves continue to be good and that's why they are very confident going forward with this listing KLC. and the question that you may ha have for the hong kong stock exchange will this lead to dilation of course there will be some dilation as i said before now you have three major shareholder across three different exchange having a share of the pie but will that affect top glove in there we yet to be seen definitely charts will be good let's look at top glove this morning here okay top glove hit that one Okay, let's see our top glove in here. Switch to a wider chart in here. And let's look at the stock price right now, this morning in here. Top glove is back to five ringgit. That's right now. And we're going to switch on to the charts wise. And chart wise, you can see it is still in pretty much in the downtrend. And uh, will this news at the bottom push the share price up? We really don't know. But having said that, we should use the green pentagon should it start to turn up. And some of you who are still interested in pretty much of the healthcare rubber glove, maybe that is a time to maybe think about picking up some. But having said that, uh, the pentagon, red pentagon that you see there was very timely when it broke through 625 that you could see in there. And that was really a downturn. Yeah, let's save at least one ringgit. Now it's back to five ringgit in here, right? Uh, and with this news, usually it also, those of you who understand price and volume, those of you who later look at the trade setup, you want to see a little bit of sideway movement first. Uh, around $5 forming a potential accumulation, which we talk a lot on our uh so-called fundamental set uh, sorry technical setup in here and no those straight setup will definitely put you in a better position in here all right let's move on to our next story that we have for you uh is ah lotte chemical now lotte chemical has been in the downtrend and usually gives up a lot of dividend to entice people this is still in the so-called little bit tied up to the energy sector should tied up to overall uh, uh is it talking about in here uh plastics okay but if you look at it plastic continue packaging still to be good it's just that now prices continue to drop for lotte is because of the post pandemic during pandemic people are buying more packaging in there so there is some sort of a correlation with it so all in all stocks usually want to do what they what they want to do so that's why it's important to read the trend and let's look at lc titan today okay lc titan hit that one and uh, you can see uh, we could look at a chart wise switch to a wider chart here and again lotte chemical very nicely done if the breakdown of the red pentagon what i'm trying to say if you break down the red pentagon do exit some okay break down all the atr stop loss you can see right in the middle in here around the uh this this bar here that's right you can see this bar right uh cut through the atr stop you need to exit 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 all right take the highest atr stop loss and that's the way they exit so at least you'll be safe from this so-called disaster and is, is it time to buy now just wait for the green pentagon very similar to top glove so that is how uh we always felt that easier to make all our members uh look into it okay 
and those of you who want to look at of course definitely can look at into the green pentagon that we have but we usually do that on monday that's right now also uh, another news on the renewable energy seems to be picking up is tengaga now tengaga has been a power generation utilities pretty much like what we've seen in texas too you know the power usually they have coal plant they have hydro now they are going into uh, uh uh, solar panels that's right they're going to re-energy by going to vietnam that's right they're going to vietnam and are uh, trying to establish themselves to be a player if you notice tengaga you type t and b right uh hit that one okay tengaga t and b and you go stock comment you can see tengaga since with this good news right now we all talk about the so-called renewable energy green movement in here so all those really take place after joe biden won with his uh, green energy deal so that's why a lot of stocks tend to you know focus on this renewable energy tend to do that well so it's no surprise that this turns green uh, pentagon and is in blue trend zone which means that the trend is likely to go uptrend uh, more than anything else and continue to go up so in this news back of this news let's look at the stock price what do you think is it going to be up or down i think usually it should be up oh it's almost unchanged minus 0.4 percent just over my right side here you can see that one all right let's go to another similar story it's no other than yin sun also in renewable energy all right let's see whether this uh folly can uh path that they take can take them into the so-called let's look at the stock price first of course stock chart and you can see wow look at that one market opens up yesterday on this news probably and then sell back down to there and this is the kind of things that we usually don't want to see where a lot of smart money are taking opportunity to exit exit you can see open up at 570 on a good price and then coming in down in here that means there is a still a lot of sellers let's look at the stock price this morning here shall we okay so the stock price and you can see it is uh 528 five two eight which is still pretty much at the support level in here and yin sun we all know being an oil and gas player but right now they are moving into renewable energies and they are not pure renewable energies having said that the percentage is going to be small whether they can grow or not but definitely we can see other players like sl west which are and summer maiden uh and cy park has made some considerable movement in there so there's a lot of new player coming in and it's becoming more and more crowded so do take note so in many ways we as investor has more choices with our renewable energy picks okay and you can find it out all on our major news and also look at the smart roby now let's turn our attention to us now last night we've seen another 300 points drop has been very very volatile and the support level at 31,000 has been broken and that's partly due to the higher interest rate of the 10-year treasury yield so what is saying that also this was caused by the uh, fed chairman jerome power saying that uh they would not intervene currently into into the bond buying market because they felt that inflation is still pretty low they don't see any evidence on uh, inflation but do, do take note the 10-year treasury yield has continued to go creep up high to almost one point six percent almost 1.5 1 1.6 and that create a big haywalk in all the tech stocks that we see and even dow jones everything just seems to be falling and falling in here and also this statement in here now do take note one of the things that we always talk about in the u.s market in this context is to relate to our reader every time when we see the certain announcement the stock's going to move up and all but the overall trend should be positive going forward in here but to me i say this more as an opportunity a correction for you to buy so that's why chart reading becomes very very important going forward in here so um has the trend settled in yet for dow jones i think not yet because the if you look at the those of you who have trading view look at the 10 year treasury you on the trading view you would see the interest rate continue to make upwards so when interest rate goes up stocks will take a beating like what we see right now and that's not really uh good isn't it uh, going forward for that one okay so let's see where we have right now for you and uh, moving on now those of you who have definitely some stocks for you me to re review so we do that at the end of the segment so make sure don't go away continue to watch our 
live FB in here. Now, of course, all in all, again, we continue to do pretty well off in our uh, smart Roby portfolio in here. And last year, we did about 163% on our backtesting portfolio. So one of the things that we're going forward for 2021 is we wanted to replicate this, okay, 7.6% in here. And I want to show you by continuing to follow our smart Roby whether this will able to build on the 7.6% in here. And uh, we, we had 20, uh, 2020 was 106. So where would 2021 be? So this is following our portfolio strategy that, that we have. And many of those rules we share with you in our value growth investing. So going forward, we have the company and we also initiated another trade yesterday. Then this is due to, let me just share with you in here, something very positive is our KLCI. Uh, good. Yes, that's right. Finally, finally, we have the green pentagon. That's right. So the green pentagon, this tells you kind of positive and we should take some position in here. But having said that, there is a lot of skepticism whether this green pentagon followed by the blue trend zone can last or not. All right. Uh, we, we have right now uh, 15 today, this morning in here. I think we, uh, our market is still slightly up. All right. Let's take a look at it. And uh, well, if you look from there, the 1618, 1618, that's the level, or at least 1600. That's the level that you need to break. What do you think, the audience who is listening today? Do you think our KLCI market can break through or, or not? All right, do you think it can break through or not? All right, there are some of you very interesting who want me to look at data prep. We will take a look at those. But having said that, if we have a nice trend like what we did in the last few months, that's going to be good. But I do think um, it's going to be a real challenge personally from what I've seen so far again. But we try not to second guess because we have a very nice uh, trade setup. If you look on the left hand side here, you can see we have a double bottom. All right. Uh, green Pentagon turned green already, but it has to overtake the six. 1600 and also 1600 then we have a very nice if that goes well uh what you see on the top side sorry this top side here uh on the returns from our pentagon smart roby well portfolio strategy trading will definitely be good but right now we are still holding on very nicely in here at 7.6 percent in here okay now let's turn on to our attention to some of our peers uh stock pick that we have uh definitely for sure Okay, oh sorry, let me just go back to the previous page here. Let's switch to a wider chart. And some of the highlights that we have, uh, definitely from the uh, 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 stock pick that we have done, we can see Enix, uh, like you know, 55% in three days. Uh, they are really short bursts, to be frank with you. Those of you who traded and will find out that premium alert tend to be a very short burst. You have one or two bar on the hourly chart, burst out, hits. Uh, a double digit return and then turn back up. That's always been this way when we call some of these really penny stocks like MI MIG, we started at 1413, uh, has to continue to go up. Euro, K plus, ETA, and you can see ETA too, uh, Zialang, uh, Zeng LNG, Tasco, and last week pick, the BLS Corp, which means I'm going to show you that one too. So just, just uh, don't go away yet, and we're going to show you that one too. So if you look from um, uh, what we have, let me just bring this up again. Uh, the lesson learned. Now let's turn on to our lesson learned uh, for BL's COP last week, 25th of February. It actually went up 20% in just two bars. Actually, it's not five bars, it's actually two bars. Uh, let me just make a small amendment here. Okay, two bars, that's right. And uh, so it was a two bar. So let me show you what I mean. Now this is BS COP, BSL COP, that's right. Oh, it's continued to go up very nicely done. Now, last week when we picked this, okay, let me just refresh this again, turn this off. Now, let me just show you our daily chart first. We were here somewhere, right? 25th, uh, 25th uh, March. And when we did this around uh, about 10, 10 plus, so you can switch to the hourly chart here. Now, of course, those of you who want to subscribe to this plugin, which is a more advanced version than what you see on this chart on top of me here, right? Because this one is static, this is a real time. So we were on 25th February around 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, you can see we were here at 57 cents. Uh, at that time, you can see this thing just shot up to somewhere around here, you can see, yes, that is a 20% move in how many days? Daily chart, you can see, right? Switch to a daily chart, yeah, just in two bars. That's about two bars. So this is how we are able to demonstrate to you. And right now, it's also coming, look look at the volume. And this is something, if you switch again, 
hourly chart is good enough, ladies and gentlemen. Huh? So if you are looking at from the lesson learned, we want to look at the schematic later on. So show you the lesson first, then we're going to get down to that. So you can see here, we have a lot of low volume in here, low volume in here. Very good. Then we have, aha, finally, the volume comes. And you can see this continue to push up. And this is a 5% move. Very nicely done. And we would come back and look at BSL Corp. Uh, next week. Of course, as I said before, uh, we always have here a disclaimer, not all trade works. And in this case, last week we picked two, at least we have BSL Corp picking up higher and going up. So I hope you like the uh, the stock trade idea that we did for you last Friday 25th. Of course, this week, many of you are going to ask, what is the stock pick for? <laughs> not stock pick, lah, huh? stock trade idea for to today. Okay, now let's look at what we have for you in here. And the stock trade idea we have for episode 41 for today is SLY, which is industrial uh, product, and also Amada. Amada is the energy, and you can see Amada has started to move up a lot. Let's switch to uh, Bumi Amada. Okay, this is a stock trade idea. You can see uh, we have volume coming up in here, but let's look at the daily chart. You can see this is continuing to go higher. Of course, if you have followed the green pentagon, Okay, the green pentagon in here, you would see this itself is again uh, a 21% move already. Okay, a 21% move very from the green pentagon in here. So all, all case being all, green pentagon does give you a good chance of the market marking higher in here. So to this is the pick. Let's look at the hourly chart and pay attention to the volume. Okay, let me just refresh this so you can see much, much better. So you can see in here, we have a little bit of pickup on the volume. That's pretty good. And uh, that's where the volume. So what I'm trying to say, when there's a volume coming in, the market will push up. Then there will be a lot of what we call sideways movement. That's fine. As long as the volume stays low and it stays above the ATR stop loss. And if you don't know, just use the uh, Smart Robbie exit strategy. That will ensure that, uh, let's, let's try this out for this example here. Amanda, AM. Okay, hit the first one on the left. Okay, Amanda, and we want to look at exit strategy. That's right. Use the exit strategy. So exit strategy is at what price? 47. Uh, so 40, 47. Uh, no, that's the profit target. Sorry, uh, profit target 47. So I can datang uh, if you want to take that. And we have the exit strategy at 367. 367 will be somewhere way, way down here. Okay, which is very far. But very important, we want to ensure it is still going up in a nice uptrend. So make sure you know how to read the chart, follow us, continue to follow us, and also come for some of our free session. And those of you who wanted to upgrade your skill, definitely a masterclass, something for you to consider uh, further to, en to enhance you. So here we get the Amada's doing okay. So let's look at the next one. Okay, is item number one, S Y. F. That's right. Let's look at SYF here. SYF. Okay, SYF. Uh, very nicely done. You can see. Let's switch to daily chart. You can see. Finally, we have the green pentagon. This is the green pentagon in here. Will it take up and break or will it reverse? We got to know. So one of the clues we are looking for switching to our daily chart, SYF, is the continuing uh, pullback. We have a one bar pullback here this morning in here. Uh, take off and 9% coming back to here. Right, you might want to. Uh, uh, I, I think this one is a pretty good one. In here, you can see volume comes in. Uh, those of you who know how to do a pullback, you might want to do a pullback trade. Those of you who don't want to, I think we can start. You know, uh, looking at this right now at this at this point, uh, and you, we want to see where it's going to be next week. Definitely, uh, from a daily chart standpoint, you can see we have a nice spring, a lot of tests, and uh, it's looking to retest back the forty-two cent. All right, so those are the two trade ideas which is picked up from our premium alert this morning. Number one, SYF and uh, Amada. So that's good. So we will come back next week to look at them. But definitely BSL Corp did pretty interesting, right? We are up almost 20% in here. Okay. So let's move on to uh, the schematic chart that I talk about. Always pay attention to what we call the stepping up bar here. So we can see if the market go up and that's what we talk about the step up bar. All right, take note. And those of you who want to know more can also go to the QR code and rewatch this again and again. The whole point about mental uh, setup and knowing those charts is repetition. It's important that you keep repeating yourself. Just like if you want to train to be a good badminton player, you have to practice your stroke. And very similarly, when you look at those again and again, you get better. Investing, as I said, going back to the agenda 2021, is all about being trained trader 
and trained investor. Now, how many of you want to be a trained trader and trained investor? If you want, just type in there. Continue to watch this trade VSA tutorial over and over again until you get it second nature. When someone talk about no supply, uh, what is no supply? When someone talk about no supply screener, where can I find them? Those are the, the, the message that I want to really give up to you in here. And I hope those uh, things will fall in place nicely for you and then will you get more benefits. Okay, now on Wednesday, we did the sector analysis, but just a reminder for our audience, if you want to look at other sectors, just type sector analysis on the uh, on Smart Roby in here. You're able to see what are the prevailing trends that we see in uh, smart Roby. All right. So we're going to come down to the uh, so-called. Yes, that's right. Now, don't forget our uh, next Wednesday. That's right. Today is Friday. Next Wednesday talk. 10 of March is US market. We'll be talking about US. So make sure you join me on that time in here. And uh, we'll be talking about innovation and growth. And also another bonus. And uh, due to the popular request, as I said before, earlier on this morning show, you'll be doing another free sharing workshop. That's right. A free sharing workshop on Zoom. Uh, on Saturday at uh, 10 a.m. Uh, for two hours, it's on fundamental analysis for beginners. So we'll be looking at you know what they talk about fundamentals. Uh, I'm sure some of you have some questions you want to ask. You can also come on this free Zoom sharing session in here. That's right. We have a QR code in here. That, uh, that, that's the one in there. Or just type it in there and do register in the Zoom session. That, that's the one, all right? So what we want to do is to have a very well balanced. On Wednesday night, we talk about sectors. We talk about economics. But on our Saturday session, on our weekend session, we go down to the so-called the principle the methodology, <laughs> that's right, and the theory behind how we understand those. So in many ways, you can really balance out. Once you follow me on the macroeconomics events that you know, understanding the fundamental, you'll be what we call a trained trader and a trained investor for at least 2021. Am I right? So those are one of the bonus. So do join us in this free sharing Zoom session in here. Definitely a lot of free and wonderful information that we'll share with you will definitely benefit going forward. And uh, not forgetting, uh, one of the we have our launch of a new Facebook. Those of you who don't know, you can see on the left hand side we continue to have many free workshops as well as our uh, incoming following the 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 uh, thirteen will be our value growth investing cost with Bitcoin valuation in there. Something that uh, it's only a cost of eight hundred credit, and you know how you can get this free cost. That's all you do. Share it with two friends, and the key thing is that we have some people saying that. They, you have to you know, forward, and the way to forward, you press this button here, share, and you can see that's a WhatsApp in there. So make sure they download with your codes because you can see that it's actually your codes inside here. Just want to show you. So this clip that you're going to be sharing will have your code. Make sure your friend or your colleague or your wife or your children use your code. If they use your code and download the software, you'll be optimally credited with 400 credit. So you just share with two person and you can come for this value growth investing uh, course on Zoom, uh, which we'll do from uh, 10 to 4 p.m. That's right. And that's a full day, a sort of almost a full day session compared to the shorter one. And that one will definitely put you in a better position to understand many of the terms that we do on. All right, take note of that one. And then we have another technical analysis uh, a course on 3rd of April. So a lot of, lot of courses uh, to keep you groomed, keep you well. And most of them are usually free sharing with you all of them. So I hope you all like that, those two. All right, let's go on to uh, what we have for you next. Uh, is that's right do leave us a feedback and what do you think of smart robbie so far and also in our play store and apple store we really need your you know a token appreciation do go over to a google play store if you have smart robbie and if you're apple give us a feedback and we'll continue to update ourselves give you the best services and products so you will benefit too that's a small token appreciation so right now i'm going to be looking at some of the shares there uh any zoom password the, the so there was a question here when you registered after that a password will be sent to you so it's a free session so the password will be sent to you so no worries about it okay let's look at the market what we have and we're going to be looking at some of the stocks that you have uh definitely uh well, the first one is the dps so let's look at dps okay so DPS, okay, DPS switched to, now DPS has turned 
orange pentagon. That's right. So it is likely to move sideways to up. And you can see this up trust here, uh, not so good. When normally we see up trust, uh, likelihood the market is going to either move sideways or down. Okay. Again, let's turn our attention to DPS. DPS. Okay, hit that one. And now what we do is we will go on to the exit strategy in here. And exit strategy says that, look, uh, medium target about 17 cents, which is still far up here. Stop loss at 10 half cents. So here, so the market, you got two options. It's likely that this market is going to move sideways, right? Or it's going to come down. All right, so you do whatever is necessary. Okay, let's move on to data prep. Now, I think data prep has moved up a lot because of the, uh, you know, uh, I think one of the investors is coming in here. Now, the question is, do you want to continue to buy high in here? Now, uh, the uh, Green Pentagon came in on about 94 cents when it was very sure that it can actually move higher. When the first time when it pops up was 57%. This was a bit crazy. You can see that one, right? You can see this 57%. So when the uh, growth is a bit more. So if you want to go in here, switch to an hourly chart. Okay, switch to your hourly chart. You can see right now uh, there is no Green Pentagon. But of course, if you want to go to uh, data prep, follow. Uh, follow follow the trading plan here but of course if you want to take profit then easier lah. Uh, if you want to take profit one i assume you are in already in data prep much much earlier when uh, green pentagon uh, for uh, this gentleman honga let's take a look at the uh, in here thing to exit at 247 247 so that's your profit target or when there's red pentagon is red pentagon out here take some partial profit when it's red pentagon but it's not out there it looks pretty good and uh, of course in here uh, if you're free, check out OW and Aeon for the other shares. All right, let's look at the some of the other side here that we have. Okay, uh, we have EG, EG Industry. Is it good to buy? EG Industry definitely not not. Ah, uh, very simple. Need. wait for the Green Pentagon. Ah, uh -huh, wait for the Green Pentagon. Wait, that's all. So some of you are asking me, so said, now if you have bought during the Green Pentagon here. Okay, you've got the Green Pentagon and you out somewhere around here. That is a 48% uh, profit. That's right, 48% profit. So right now, uh, I I would assume, maybe if you're not trained yet, not well trained, you may have entered very high up here. So do be, uh, be careful. So what we do with that, A M I E G Industry. All right, E G. Okay, looks like there's no such code. Let's put EG. Yeah, there's EG, it's no EG industry. Okay, let's look at the exit strategy here. Okay, exit strategy is 78 cents. Okay, 78 cents, which is somewhere around here. Somewhere here. That's right, that will be your stop loss. Okay, uh, medium target is about 104 here. So, what's going to mean? It says here, EG is likely to move sideways, downtrend, or go lower from here. Side, <laughs> orange, orange, orange pentagon, you know, lah, orange trend zone. Lah, with the orange trend zone, uh, pentagon and here, red pentagon, you, you can see this, this market uh, doesn't look very, very uh, good. Lah. <laughs> okay, keep, keep note on that one. All right, let's look at uh, some other. I'm just going to go through quickly. Uh, green pentagon spot bottom catch up. Pentagon can spot, no. Pentagon are not designed for you to catch at the bottom. It's designed for you to go through a base. Don't ever catch bottom. I said many, many times before, right? Because bottom can go lower. Green Pentagon, you can see here, right? At this point, the market go lower, lower, lower. Then Green Pentagon. Ah, that's right. So it always turn up first, then only you buy. Because we always say, and I train Smart Robbie, and I'm going to teach you to never catch falling knife. I know many of you like to catch falling knife, but tell me what is the experience? The market go lower and lower, you average down, and then you just tahan no ni, tahan no ni, all right? It's not a good uh, way to make money, okay? Um, okay, uh, 7 11, there's many of them. I was just going to sort of choose some from here, uh, uh, not all, okay? Now, what are the things that uh, we want to do going forward uh -huh, to make this? Uh, 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 we'll start next Monday, we'll start next Monday, and those of you who review me on the Play Store and Apple Store. Okay, if you review, you can see on the charts uh, here. Okay, uh, because there are so many of you, and sometimes people say, "Why I so?" 
pick only this field. So what we're going to do, we're going to start something new. Next week, if you go over to review your Apple and Play Store, if you review me, review not review me, review Smart Roby on Apple and Google Play Store, when I see your names, I would be first to review the stocks that you have. It's just that due to the short time that I have, I cannot go through that. So I, what I want to do is, if you review in the Apple and Google Play Store or even Facebook, you'll be the first stock review of you doing that. So this is something to motivate you, uh, uh, you know, to, to do that. All right, that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, all right, so that's, that's what I'm going to do. Um, going forward next week because i keep reminding myself that but i can't forget so we're going to do a bit of a little game yeah if you if you review smart robby in the google play and apple store i'll be first to review that all right so again on monday i will go through the google play store and check it out and some of those names uh that appeared after 5th of march then you'll be my first preference the more you review on google play and apple store the more i will review your stock too so it is so called um uh, uh a, a two-way partnership. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, everyone. And of course, your review can be good or bad. If it's not so good, we will continue to update ourselves. So I'm just going to stop here uh, for today. Thank you for coming because there are just too many stocks for me to look at. And I will give priorities for those of you who have reviewed us at the uh, on the online play store. So, and last but not least, I just want to share with you uh, what we have is our April intake. And those of you who are, have already registered or those of you who came for our January intake, please come back and re-attend it. One of the great benefits and many of our members who came is that the ability to re-attend our masterclass for the next 12 months. That's right. That's the deal we have for you in here. So, and all our syllabus will continue to change. And going back to the agenda, what we call train trader and trained investor. Have you thought about upgrading your skill to take advantage of all the opportunity that we've seen in Bitcoin, in US market, and next week I'll be talking about US market. So do join us in our April workshop with the uh, VSA and a lot will be shared on that time, all right? So not forgetting Telegram, chat room, continue to join us and share this with your friend. So they would also benefit in many of our uh, workshop, free workshops and also paid workshops that you will benefit to in there. So that's all I have for you guys. Thank you for sharing in here. So go over to the Apple Store or Google Play Store and review it. And Monday, I'll be first to review it. Thank you for coming and thank you for uh, your great uh, time share with me. I hope we all learn something together. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.